Come with me. Where to? You'll know when we get there. Tsukishima K's thoughts. Don't tell me. The reason why he doesn't want to go home was. Monday, 3.10 p.m. So. What do you think? Tsukishima and Hinata stood in front of a massive building. Hinata ecstatically jumps up and down like a little kid. Tsukishima gave him a weird look. Yee. Come on. Let's have some fun, Tsuki. Smirking face. Tsukishima's eyes lit up. I know you like museums. Grinning face with smiling eyes. Tsukishima clicked his tongue. Tsukishima K's thoughts. Ah. I knew something's fishy. Can't imagine him dragging me somewhere inappropriate in broad daylight. Why did I even think of, that? What was I expecting? His idiocy will be the death of me. All the kissing got me worked up. He's so freaking innocent, it's annoying. Face with rolling eyes. It didn't even phase him. If only Tsukishima knew. Real time. What brings you to that conclusion? And, this, is your idea of fun? Don't be such a party pooper. Hinata tries to tickle Tsukishima from the sides but Tsukishima picks him up but drops him right after. Come on. They have dinosaurs and stuff. It'll be awesome. Face pump. Not all museums have dinosaur bones in them, dumbass. Eh. But. The only museum with dinosaur bones in Japan is at Fukui. That was something Hinata didn't think of. Ever since, he believed every museum has them. So when he found the place, he was sure Tsukishima would like it. But now. He's not so sure. Let's go, he already ruined his day. The cake shop was a mess. Even the parfait was a failure. At least, he got him the dino. That, besides the point, he had no plans ruining it any further. Nothing ever goes right with him. He just kept on making mistakes. He was ready to leave for Fukui but Tsukishima stopped him. How stupid can you get? Fukui is almost 9 hours away. We're not gonna make it. Besides. Tsukishima K's thoughts. He chose a museum. Ha. Huh. How considerate of him. Real time. Tsukishima walks his way to the museum entrance. I didn't even think you'd want to bring me to one. Hmm. Nothing. Stop being an idiot and start moving. Gur. Angry face with steam. Hinata felt relieved. Yet he wondered if he was only doing it for the sake of him. Tsukishima took his first step inside. Listen, I'm making a few rules. No yelling, no touching, no run. Hey, don't treat me like some kid. Angry face. Tsukishima felt a chill. Hinata kept on walking and mumbling until he noticed Tsukishima standing still. He looked petrified. Tsuki. Is there something wrong? Hinata went up to Tsukishima and caught sight of the disdain in his eyes. He flinched as Hinata nudged on him. Tsukishima put on an eerie smile. Hinata shuddered by the feel of Tsukishima's bloodlust. What the hell was that? So slow. Quit lagging behind. Hinata took a step back. 3. 2. 1. When Hinata checked on him, he was back to his old self. Hinata blinked twice, making sure if he was only seeing things. Don't give me that. You're the one lagging behind. Face with one eyebrow raised. Tsukishima didn't say another word and continued his walk. So did Hinata. Monday, 3.22 PM. Tsuki. I've never been to a museum before. Have you? No. Not really. I've only been to galleries. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. Was I wrong to bring him here? He doesn't look happy. I mean, he looks like that all the time. Is it because they don't have dinosaur bones? That can't be it. Was it my imagination? But, a while ago he... There was something mind-boggling about Tsukishima's smile. Rather, it was more of a sneer. It was unnatural. Almost like he was someone else. Real time. Tsukishima noticed Hinata who was awfully quiet despite being obnoxious the whole day. You brought me here. You don't look happy. You, don't, look happy. This is how I normally look. Me too. There is no end to your thick-headedness. Do you hear yourself? And stop repeating everything I say. Pick something else. Will you? Hinata didn't say a word. Tsukishima looks away, slightly hiding his face. He mustered the little courage he had and gulped down a lump of his pride away. Thanks. Size. I said thank you. What's that I hear? Drop it. I'm not gonna say it again. Tsukishima tried cheering him up. It was a sight to behold. That small act of gratitude made Hinata incredibly happy. He was grinning from ear to ear. Tsukishima smiled. Tsuki, 
Are you happy? Gross, stop it. Wow, rude. Angry face with steam. There it was. Another smile. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. I guess, I was worried about nothing. Grinning face with smiling eyes. After walking around, viewing arts and scraps, painting to painting, sculpture to sculpture. Tsukishima and Hinata went on their way deeper into the museum. Empty. That's how Hinata would describe it. It's a holiday. There wasn't anyone around. He expected it to be more packed than usual. He guessed wrong. It was a dead part of the museum. Must be because of high security. These paintings are more valuable than the rest. He wasn't sure what type of tickets he bought. The expensive ones. Hinata stole a glance of Tsukishima. There was nothing different but Hinata felt special. It's just Hinata, Tsukishima, and a few other museum workers roaming about, checking paintings for dusts, to even the slightest imperfections. It made Hinata feel giddy. It was the same for Tsukishima. Being along with Hinata made him feel lucky. Hinata and Tsukishima walked up to a painting. Jean Honor Fragonard. The Swing. 1767. Real time. A bubble popped on Tsukishima's mind. He was gonna start talking but Hinata beat him to it. The Swing. It was said that the man swinging her back and forth is the husband and the man hiding in the bushes is her paramour. The statue of Cupid implies. Hinata nervously fiddles with his fingers while searching for the word stuck in the back of his throat. The cherub implies, that it is something they keep as a secret. A secret love affair. Hinata lets out a sigh of relief. He said it. Oh ho. Interesting. So how did you know that? I I learned it from history class. Smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. Tell me more. Well, blah blah blah. Is that so? Yes and blah blah blah. Tsukishima nods in agreement. You don't believe me, do you? Of course I do. Everything you said is true. Well, except for one, that is. Uh. No, I was telling the truth. Hinata jolted when he realized what Tsukishima meant. Tsukishima was only playing along. What? How? That was flawless. Did I make a mistake? You really are an idiot. If you're really that smart enough to remember something from class, you wouldn't come to me for help. Tsukishima hits Hinata's head softly. Your head is only filled with volleyball. Hinata grunts and grumbles. Incomprehensible noises. They never taught that in class. I'm impressed. Smirking face. If you didn't use big words such as paramour, it might have been more believable. Amused face. Hinata flushed red. He didn't think Tsukishima paid so much attention in class to be able to tell. Tsukishima examined the painting. His unwavering focus drew Hinata's eyes on him. Do you think her husband knew? Maybe, he's letting her off the hook cause he truly loves her. But did she really love her husband? Why must there be another? Why must she hide her lover? Why can't they be together? Chi. Just go somewhere people know nothing about. So troublesome. Maybe, she loved neither. She probably loved only herself. To take on two hearts for her own selfish desire. Isn't that wonderful? Tsukishima turned to Hinata, seeking affirmation. But instead, he found an awestruck Hinata, lost for words. Ah. I was rambling on. Force of habit, sorry. Wah. Tsuki. You're so cool. Wah what? Shut up. I'm not. You are. I didn't even think of it like that. I didn't know art can be viewed that way. Oftentimes, twisted thoughts are what makes people, people. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. There's so much about him I don't know. I want to get to know him more. Real time. Enough talk. Keep up. Oh and, Tsukishima leans close, whispering in his ear. You forgot about the sexual interpretation. He leans his face a bit further from Hinata's, meeting his eyes. Smirking face. You know. All the back and forth stuff. Tsukishima winks. Vincent Van Gogh. The Starry Night. 1889. Real time. Tsukishima glanced at Hinata. Hinata looked back at him. Wah what? Hinata is still hung up on what happened. Sexual. Tsukishima's voice made Hinata shudder. Aren't you gonna say something? Eh. Tsukishima motioned a hand to the painting. Oh. I thought you said you knew what it meant? True but it would be a waste if you didn't put your research to use. After all, it must have been tough to memorize all those stuff. He wasn't entirely wrong. Tsukishima K's thoughts. Now that I think about it, did he plan everything from the start? Real time. Ah. Uh, could it be, have you already forgotten? That's why you can't tell me. 
Ha ha ha. Amused face. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. Tsukishima. He's always toying with me. Teasing me however he wants. Kissing me like that. Internally screaming. I wanted to impress him. Ugh. But all I've done so far is embarrass myself. Real time. You're right. I just thought. You won't be able to appreciate art if you don't know the history behind it. Tsukishima likes this version of Hinata. His honest side. It's something he really admires about him. And something he had a hard time doing. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. And if you knew I'm clueless, you might come to hate me for it. So I looked it up. I'm just a volleyball idiot, after all. Real time. You look so pretty. Tsukishima recalls. You won't be able to appreciate art if you don't know the history behind it. That's not like you. What do you mean? Tsukishima K's thoughts. You don't even know me, yet you called me pretty. Tsukishima watched him in the corner of his eye. That's who you are. Pablo Picasso. The Weeping Woman. 1937. Real time. Hinata and Tsukishima stood there in silence, scrutinizing every grain of detail you can find in a painting. Tatsuki. His voice cracked. He could feel the tension rising. He was worried he might have said something to upset him. I've always hated red. Tsukishima directed his gaze on Hinata. I used to. A look that clearly says, I have no idea what you're talking about, was written all over Hinata's face. I hated it so much, it's the only real hue I see. Huh. You. Ma. Me. Tsukishima karate chops Hinata's head. H-U-E-U. -E -U. It means color, you numbnuts. I know what it means. Gur. Tsukishima chuckles. One that wore off way too soon, you'd start to wonder if it was ever there. Hinata didn't know what to say, so he kept shut. Tsukishima turned his head, giving the art his full attention. As if they were the only ones left on earth. Hinata Shoyo studied him. It was the only color I was ever sure of. And the only color who left me with so much. Tsukishima reaches his hand out, not too far but not close enough to touch. There was a physical gap in between yet it didn't seem to exist. It was enough. Enough to feel the pain, the weeping woman must have felt. Seeping through the cracks. The cracks on the walls he had built. The walls, he thought, could keep him from everything and everyone who dares to hurt him. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. He looks like he's gonna cry. It's painful to look at. Real time. I've been diagnosed with tritinopia. Tatsuki. Are you dying? Loudly crying face. Tsukishima gave him a soft smile. No, silly. It's a type of color blindness. I can't tell the difference of what's blue and what's yellow from the rest. Which explains what you saw in my room that day. Tsukishima K's thoughts. Is that what he wanted to ask all this time? Hinata was about to say something but hesitated. He didn't want to pry. He just discovered that Tsukishima is color blind. How was he supposed to react? Real time. You were acting weird after you went into my room. I completely forgot, I never mentioned it to anyone but Yams. And, you really shouldn't be snooping around. Sighs. Tsukishima glanced at Hinata. He was still speechless. He's patiently waiting for the next thing he will say. Hanging on to every second. I couldn't find the right time to tell you. And it's not really a big deal. Not another second passed, Hinata finally grabbed hold of Tsukishima's hands. He had impossibly enormous hands. His hold could definitely snap and break your bones into two. Yet for some reasons, rather, it gives off a gentle touch. One that touches the soul. Don't spout nonsense such as, it's not a big deal. All this time, you have no one else but Yamaguchi to talk to. Even if I'm lonely, I'll be fine. No, Tsuki. Don't say that. I don't want you to be lonely. Tell me. Tell me all about it. Pour your heart out and I promise I will listen to every word you say. Tsukishima's head throbbed. He staggered. Hinata squeezed his hands. It brought him back to reality. Tsuki. If I talk about it, I'll cry. I'm not weak. Who said crying was a sign of weakness? Still unsure of the right words, Hinata pulled Tsukishima into a hug, tight. Out of all Hinata's attacks, this was the most difficult one to block. His desire for warmth and his constant unmet need for affection was a battle he'd lose. He'd never exposed his vulnerability before but if hugs healed, he thought, it would feel exactly like this. Show me the heart that you've been hiding. Tsukishima K's thoughts. Ah. As I thought, no matter how much I think about it. I'm in love with you. Real time. You idiot. 
okay. Hinata and Sakashima made their way out. Ah. Sakashima's lips curved into a smile when he spotted a very specific painting that caught his eye before it completely disappeared in sight. Hmm. Sakashima didn't want to say something embarrassing so he quickly chose a different topic. You still owe me a strawberry shortcake. Still. But we got a strawberry parf. Hinata cut off mid-sentence. It won't be their last. He was happy. Monday, 6.09 PM. Inside the train, on their way home. Hinata and Sakashima were lost in their stream of thoughts. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. So he's colorblind, huh? Blue and yellow. Hinata stole glances at Sakashima. I guess, that means he didn't realize we were wearing the same color. I was getting worked up all by myself again. If he only knew. Sakashima K's thoughts. Did I make the right decision? Monday, 7.52 PM. Before Hinata and Sakashima parted ways. Oi Hinata. What is it? I've heard most people call you the sun to be happy. Always shines the brightest. In my eyes, you look nothing like it. Hinata tries to comprehend what Sakashima was trying to say. Was that supposed to be a compliment? You're a wonderful person, Hinata. Hinata's heart somersaulted. A great impact. Just like that, Hinata's troubles drifted away. His words gave him a sense of relief. Assurance. It was you who brought color to my life. Ironically speaking. Grinning face with smiling eyes. It was you who taught me, it's okay not to be perfect as long as you're happy. The noises from their surroundings seemed to fade away. Only his footsteps echoed in Hinata's ears as he drew near, until they were inches away. You are what made Red bearable. Hinata Shoyo's thoughts. Red. He told me he used to hate it. I'm glad I helped somehow. Smiling face with smiling eyes. Real time. Your hair. Shaded red. Sakashima ran his fingers through Hinata's smooth and silky hair. Hinata was dumbstruck. His mind went blank. His eyes solely on him. Because of you. Red. Became, my favorite you. When you kiss me, heaven sighs.